Nigeria uh, and this Ghana. For my Ghanaians brothers, do you understand? To all the Ghanaians, if you come across this video, John Osime, now from my heart of love, now that they made this message given up. You understand? Because um, recently, you see, say, man, if you go on TikTok, go on Instagram, go on several social media platforms, you go see and say, man, some people, they complain, say, why Nigeria, they always, they follow Ghana, they all grand, you know, they talk to Ghana, they put Ghana to where they belong. See, I want to let you know something. I want to let you know something, you know. These things are not personal. These things are not personal. It's just like a social media banter. <laughs> and our Ghana people, they are not complaining. They love it. Ghana is just like our wife. Ghana people, they be like our wife. So as a, as a husband, you can romance your wife anyhow you like. That's why you see, I say sometimes we go banter Ghana, we go banter them. They will come, we go, we go still talk to them, say, make them calm down. So to Ghanaians, this message is to let you guys know that we're not a beautiful now. We love you guys. You guys are our baby brothers. We're not be like our wife, our baby brothers, our siblings. You understand? Because right from time, you know, we have this synergy. Ghana and Nigeria, they are very, very close. In terms of food, in terms of music, in terms of culture. So there is no way so many people they want to change the narrative, say Nigeria they always they attack Ghana, you know, stuff like no 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 no. We love our Ghanaian people. We love them, we appreciate them. That's why you see says most of the time we support Ghana. Because they be like that they close closer to us for West Africa. So now you see this guy where they see from my screen, so this guy so this guy so is from South Sudan. He's from South Sudan. You understand? So this guy now so eh. If they want to come back, I can talk about Nigeria. You know, Nigeria is this, Nigeria is this. Ogbeli we will not reply you. I know they don't even give you job for TikTok, but you are, you are, you, you are, you, you know, you know they're relevant for us to talk to. Because number one, we are not close, we are not brothers, we are not siblings, we are not siblings, we are not, we are not related in any ways. You know, this banter between uh, Nigerian and, Af uh, and and Ghana, so many African countries don't like her. They don't like her to the extent say they want to feel among. So they want, they don't even want make Nigeria, they only focus on Ghana. They want Nigeria to focus on other African countries so that they could they also they enjoy the banter. You know, when they follow Nigeria, they banter. When they follow Nigeria, they banter. When I talk, say being a Nigeria is a privilege, so many people know they believe. Now, because you, when they watch, you be in Nigeria, that's why you know value where you from come. You need to understand, say, Nigeria, eh, there is this special gift. Special way we got to create Nigeria. You don't go understand until you start to realize being where you are, where you come from is a privilege and God specially designed Nigeria. You go understand, say, man, that country no be for just mouth. That country no be mouth. So not just our leaders, they, they lose guard us. So to Ghana and also Cameroon, to we are, we, we, in terms of borders, we are closer to Cameroon than Ghana. But in terms of relationship, the blessing will be close to Ghana past Cameroon. But to Ghana and Cameroon, whatever banter we come out from social media, you guys should not take it personal. You understand? This is from your bigger brother. Don't take it personal. We love you guys, honestly speaking. We love you guys. So please, nobody should change the narrative that Nigeria, they try to, they try to talk to other African country in a way we say no makes sense. No. You know, normal level, we Nigerians, we they like to even banter ourselves as a Riaza. A Nigerian man go to banter another Nigerian man as a Riaza. That's the reason why you see and say, if any other man from other African country can't enter Nigeria, won't talk to Nigeria in here, we will see and say, we will come and say, like Millipi, we will want bite the person. <laughs> we love you guys, our Ghanaian brothers, especially Ghanaian, Cameroon. We love you guys. Please never take anything personal. It's all love. Peace out. Surrender their German passport. Dear friends, this and only this is the sole thing that we comprehend and interpret as remigration without any other variations or interpretations. Germany is firmly in the hands of criminal clans, particularly Arab or Nigerian ones. All of them have a very distinctive understanding of the law, 
which doesn't care about our laws at all. They consider Germany as their fat prey. Criminal clans engage in extensive protection racketeering, human trafficking, arms trafficking, drug trafficking, forced prostitution, commit robberies, fraud, assault, coercion, murders, thefts. Furthermore, there is a prevalence of extensive tax evasion and welfare fraud. You, the Ghanaian ladies, and the Ghanaian women, the majority of you there, you are the most stupid people that you have given the, those uh, uh, audacity to these Nigerian people going here and there and giving birth with you people and you are not thinking of yourself. Not thinking of yourself because of the uh, fraud rise. Then you people will be lying down for Nigerian people to be flirting you, having sex with you. You, you Ghanaian women, you Ghanaian women, you are idiots. You people are ashamed of womanhood in Ghana. You people are stupid, too stupid. Too stupid. But let me tell you, you the Nigerians, you do uh, that kind of mentality that you people have uh, brought in your mind that, oh, Having sex with a Ghanaian woman and having a child with her will give me that kind of uh, audacity to be staying in Ghana. So you people are thinking that we, we can, you people can uh, have a uh, uh, you can have your naturalization in in Ghana. That one it will never ha help you in any way. When we strike on you, that you have to go back to Nigeria automatically even we will not care even if you take the Ghanaian women along with you and go back to nigeria we do we are not going to tolerate nonsense to any nigerian it doesn't matter whether you have a house or you have a a, a citizenship or anything there in ghana we will drive you like how we drive you in uh, 69 we will do it like this to you people what kind of fuck are you people trying to do in Ghana? Huh? You people always talk by hearts on social media. Because you people think you have got the audacity to be doing anything. What the fuck are you people, the Nigerians in Ghana? What the fuck are you people in... in, in uh, what the fuck are you doing in Ghana? Who gave you those kind of audacity? Slapping policemen and doing all those kind of shit. Do you people do that in your country? What kind of idiotic things are you people doing in the country, Ghana? Everybody in Nigeria is uh, is now a, a social media blogger in in uh, in Ghana. Always talking about Ghana. Always talking about Ghana. Oh, oh Ghana, Ghana this. Oh Ghana this. What kind of fuck are you people? And you, the Ghana, Ghanaian ladies uh, and the women, giving your houses for the Nigerians to be renting it. What are you stupid people? Are you, are you people? Look, we are giving you... We don't need you in Ghana. You, the Nigerian, we are going to drive you people away from Ghana. After this, we will drive you people even before Ekufado will even go away from the, It is Ekufado who has created all these problems for Ghanaians. What the fuck? If you are born with a Nigerian woman, that doesn't give you any audacity to bring, in, to bring Nigerians in the country. What kind of fucking attitude to is this? As you, the Nigerians. Anywhere that you people goes, they drive you away from the place. Anywhere that you people goes, they drive you away from that place. Foolish people, if you people are good people, why is it that people are rejecting you and now you are uh, trying to get Ghanaian passport to travel from uh, away from uh, uh, Ghana, uh, uh, Ghana to uh, 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 abroad? Why are you using a Ghana 
passport. And we, the Ghanaians too, we are too stupid that we are giving Nigerian passport to tarnish the, uh, the image of Ghana. We, the Ghanaians, we are idiots. We are idiots. Those working in the offices, in the embassies, you people are idiots. You people are stupid. Because of money that you get, you don't think of a uh, future. You people don't think of future. You always think of what you get in your stomach. Stupid Ghanaians. You are the people collapsing the, uh, the country. And always you are talking about the president, president. Are you not the people collapsing the country? In the name of money. Are you idiots? You Ghanaian citizens, are you idiots helping foreigner, foreigners to collapse the country? Are you people idiots? We will come to Ghana and the aluta that we are bringing to the Nigerians and even you, the Ghanaian citizens there, you people will run. You are the people who are, you are the ones that making this our country to be collapsed. Foolish people. You Nigerians, when you were coming, did you bring land to uh, uh, the country? Were you carrying a land to the country? And you come to Ghana and you are selling lands to people. You for the fuck. You for the fuck. What other city are you people having to be selling lands to, uh, to Ghanaians? Huh? Nigerians, you people should go back to your country before we, we, def uh, we Ghanaians, we strike on you. When we strike, it will be more than even what South Africans uh, did to you. When we Ghanaians, we strike, it will be on fire. It will be on fire. You people will run. You people should st look. You people should stop building houses in Ghana because this is the same thing. It happens to you before when we uh, we made a Nigeria must go. Otherwise, you people will lose almost all your properties. Stop building your uh, uh, properties in Ghana because Nigerians, you are not going to stay in Ghana forever. We will drive you out from the country. We will drive you. Out unexpectedly we are going to drive you out you nigerian you are fucked up people you are too stupid to behave in like this you are criminals you people are criminals you people are criminals because of that the german doesn't want even you people to have their passport they want to take their passport away from you and just drive you people all away from uh, germany here you people are idiots you are criminals you are disgraced to africans nigerians are disgraced to africans and my own country the women there majority of the Ghanaian women too are disgraced to Ghanaian womanhood they are stupid because of fried rice leaving themselves to you people to even to be having a, a birth with them stupid Ghanaian women they are idiots they are idiots same shame to a Ghanaian woman what's that for my jimmy jimmy same uh morning answer you people doesn't more drink and go on more drink the beer what is Nigerian going to do? A Nigerian man going to do for you? Kwasia, you don't think. You don't have manners. You don't think far. Anyone who have manners is not going to have a bet with Nigerian. Does Nigerian people stay uh, uh, stay with uh, foreigners? Huh? Does Nigerian men even stay with for, for, uh, for, for, with foreigners for good? What are you? What kind of stupid people Ghanaians are? This woman, the most cheapest woman in Africa is Ghanaian woman. As I've traveled to everywhere in in, uh, uh, in abroad, as I know, 
the most stupid women, the most cheapest also women are the Ghanaian women, as I know. They only just give themselves to foreigners and they sleep with them anyhow. What the fuck are you? Don't you see that the Nigerian men are always laughing at you and their women? Nigerian women are not cheap like you Ghanaian women. You people have to learn. You people are disgraced to the Ghanaian womanhood. I'm telling you, you Ghanaian women. Mama Latafoni mode that the that rough and and also the Ghanaian people who are renting houses to the Nigerians. Look at the, what they are do, doing to their your houses. They don't even pay the electricity. And when you come and you are coming to take uh, uh, your house, before you come, then you have a much bill to pay, about 30,000 cities. Then you have to pay it by yourself, you see? But when your own brother or sister is coming to rent the apartment, you don't want to give it to him because you think the Nigerian man is giving you much money. Are you stupid? You love the Nigerian, you prefer the Nigerian more to your brother. You are an idiot. You are an idiot. You are an idiot. But yeah, if they spoil, they spoil your apartment, later on then you are looking for a Ghana police to go and uh, drive them away from your, uh, your house. What about them? Even if I were to be the Ghanaian police, I will never even go with you. I will not even go with you to drive the Nigerians. Yeah, because if a Ghanaian man or a woman is coming to rent your apartment, you will never give it to the person. You will never give it to the person. Bastards. Bastards. Cowards. Cowards. You, the Nigerian bloggers, especially that guy who is also living in uh, Tema. That guy, blogger, who always come as a, a comedian, that guy, me, I'm living in Tema. You, when any time I'll come to Tema, you run. That guy who is a Nigerian, who is a blogger living in Tema, that they said he, uh, he has built an apartment in there. That guy, he should be very careful. When any time I'll come, I'll come to you on, in Tema. I will drive you like driving a ship. You. You. You, that guy, I don't know his name. That Mato Moko, or I don't know what is his name or what is his name. You, that guy, I will come for you in Tema. What the fuck you people are doing there? Any Nigerian woman is a blogger uh, uh, going to here and uh, doing this, doing... What the fuck? If you, are, you are a giant. You are a giant for crime, crimes. You are an African giant for crimes. Not anything. If you are a giant, you are a giant for African giant for crimes. What kind of things are you people doing in Ghana? What kind of work are you people doing in Ghana? Is, is it not only a crime are you people uh, creating in, in, in Ghana? Is it not only a, 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 a crimes you people are, are creating in Ghana? Kidnapping, frauding, doing this, doing that, doing that. Hey, look, Mr. Manager, I'm very sorry. Not you. You are not like the, your uh, your uh, your people. But they said the majority carries the vote. So when you hear any Ghanaian speaking like this on your your platform on your channel, don't let you to be. Uh, you shouldn't be worried about that. Everybody knows you how you are. But they said majority carries the vote so when we are talking we are talking about the majority of your people because your ma the majority of your people are wicked they are wicked and we will drive them whereby they will never see that even we are driving them the day we will drive them they will even be surprised it will turn them like a rapture it all the things that you people are doing you think you Ghanaians we are fools eh you think 
if some if you say if you are doing something and the person doesn't reply you, you don't take it as if the person is a fool we are not fools we are not fools but we are just we are we are patient we just watch what you people are doing before when the um, black americans came to ghana when they were talking about uh ghana doing blogging and all those kind of things then you the nigerian people in nigeria saw that oh the black americans are talking good about ghana it seems ghana is okay then you people started when they drive you from south africa you people also try to to come to ghana and you people also try to be coming to be blogging and now you, you see that you people came to ghana and you people are doing blogging 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 you see that the black black americans are not doing it again and because you people were thinking that oh they were doing it and they were getting money on uh, youtube so you people has got also that kind of audacity by doing that blogging and you people know that that's where you people are going to get your daily bread so every nonsense then you people are saying it every nonsense then you people are saying it there ah we won't give you that chance anymore we will never give you that chance anymore look at how many people uh, 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 black americans uh, living in the country have you ever even see any a Ghanaian talking bullshit uh, to them why is it that you people living in africa as nigerians that we are talking bad about you because one you don't have good character you people are weak, you, wicked you are witches and wizards you are the african witches and wizards you people are demons you people are demons look when i'm angry i, I cannot even speak you people are too wicked you people are very wicked do you know how many Ghanaian people who were in uh, living who were living in uh, uh, Nigeria, and what you people did to them, and those people that you killed them in Nigeria? My aunt was in Nigeria, and when she came, what she even told us how the Nigerian how wicked you people are. You just see someone who, a shoemaker who is doing shoe who is do, uh, doing shoemaker or shoe shine you people just call him only then you people will put a tie on the person you bend the person then the, you bend the person into ashes you people will bend the person into ashes a country that even a car if a car hits someone all the cars has to be passing by they will all that all the ties will be passing by the, the the person then the person will die flat on on the road you people are heartless you people are wicked nigerians you people are wicked you are not people you are not kind of people that even pe we have to we have to live with you people you people have to live in a different place. We can never, never love, uh, uh, live with Nigerians. Look, let me tell you, Nigerians and Ghanaians, Ghanaians, these Ga people, they don't, they are not Nigerians. If you want to know where the Ga people are from, go and uh, go to uh, back to your history and read well. Go and search where the uh, Ga people comes from. When the Ga people come in, they they were from uh from Chad and from Chad when they came to Niger. So when they came to Niger, then they stayed in Niger for a while. Then they come to Nigeria. When they came to Nigeria, they stayed in a place called Efe, Efe or something like this. Yeah, that's where they they stayed. So. Th that place where they stayed they, they didn't stay for a long time when they stayed there then they just continued their journey and they come to ghana when they were when they came to ghana and we saw that and we gave them a place to live the people uh, called gas they are not nigerians we and ivory coast we have 
the same culture and even some of the Ivorians are Ghanaians. Why do we call them, some of them are Nigerian? Because one, we even, we, when we speak, we understand ourselves. We have the same uh, language. That's in Zima. It's also in Ivory Coast. And even some of them, even are uh, even what, even brothers to even the people in living in the uh, uh, western side. Have you ever seen a guy, a, a guy speaking a Nigerian language before? No. But when they came to live in the Nigeria, they copied some of their culture. They copied some of their culture, the way they dress, the way they do everything. That is why they were, they are thinking that these those people are from where are from Nigeria, but they are not Nigerians. What the fuck? And you people are say, always saying that they are Igbos, they are Nigerian. God people are not from Nigeria. What the fuck? You people should keep your mouth shut. When it comes to a time we are driving you people away, don't think that you you people. Will Tell us that a gang people are Ibus and this is a fuck you. You people will go where you come from. But see, someone will tell me that hey, I have a Ghana citizenship. You have what Ghana citizenship? And when the, the, when the, it comes, you see, you will tell someone whether you have a Ghana citizenship or you, you don't have it. Even in Germany here, when you have a citizenship, even we can take it away from you. How much more a Ghana? Foolish people. Thinking that what you have a, what makes you to, to be having a Ghana citizenship? Is it not money that you, you want them to give to the Ghanaians and they make this kind of stupid ID cards and all that kind of passports for you people? Always having a kind of passport and coming to Europe here and doing stupid things and tarnishing the, na the name of uh, Ghana. What are you people trying to be? Why are you people behaving as if you, you people are over all uh, Africans? Why? Why? Are you people stupid calling yourself African giants? African giant of my foot. You are giant in crime. You are giant in crime in Africa. You are not. Someone will tell me that uh, uh, when it comes to entertainment, Nigeria is a quite foolish person. The person who is even talking about entertainment is idiot. You people sing okay. You people sing nice uh, songs. I understand you. Why is it that your 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 artists are not developing your country for you, for you to be staying there? Idiot. When it gets to Easter and uh, Christmas, uh, uh, this uh, holidays. Is it not in Ghana that all the Nigerian people are flying to, to be coming to uh, entertain themselves? What do you people do there that Ghanaian people even come there? No Ghanaian even will step there because we we do. How, which entertainment do you people? What kind of music will you, will you people play that will, will attract some a Ghanaian that he is coming to enjoy himself, him or herself uh, in Nigeria? But when we when it is in occasions, if Christmas, uh, Easter's, and all this kind of festivals, look at how many Nigerians who even fly to come to Ghana to enjoy themselves. Because uh, Ghana is what is a peaceful nation, and the entertainment that we have there is extraordinary. It's extraordinary. Look at how many countries that are living in Ghana. These black Americans, Jamaicans, this uh, uh, all these uh, South Americans. Are they not living in Ghana? And look how happy they are. Because they know that the Ghana is a peaceful country. Why are they not uh, coming to Nigeria to entertain themselves? Because they know you people are bastard, wicked people. There's something wrong with you people, your mental faculties. You people have to check it. Idiots. Hello, good evening, Mr. Anjani, John News. Yeah, watch, one, uh, watch your program this evening. Uh, the last, the last two second man who talk. 
he was making he was talking like uh it's 50 50 ghana half nigeria half. first of all before i continue this issue with you he said as a covid day you're in ghana you benefit from ghana right to show you how divided nigeria some of them they are i gotta tell you about even i was here I watch everything was going on Ghana there between Nigeria camp. They bring product, give Nigerians there in Ghana there. I watch it, full trailer, not one, not two. I watch it, light day. They benefit for the twenty four seven without no pain. But right here in Nigeria here, my brother. They will bring light from one year. They will take out like a two, three times. Appointments go end. They will still bring bill for us to pay. Where they bring, uh, they say there's some money where they are sharing with us, some um, a cup of rice, and this way they are sharing. Once they they come to my house, once they, they hear my name, they don't, they don't give me that rice. So. They don't give me the beans. They don't give me anything. They now tell me that okay, they want to see the, the next of my neighbor first. They will come back to me. They won't see their boss where they direct them. That's okay, fine. They restore their writing name house to house. This is some money they are collecting 30,000 naira, be 40,000 naira. They reach my after everything. In my name, can't show that I'm not a Nigerian. That money I don't see here. Three good times. I don't see, I don't see anything. To show you how bad some of Nigeria they are, or how bad Nigeria they are. Okay, I forget myself. I don't say this much these things. As I'm talking to you now, Nigeria population will be 250 or 260, whatever people are talking about. Nigeria population is 220 normally. That's what people are hiding to it. That's why they will not check very well. Let them go back and do research. Go go for 2024. Now where we are now, make them check it. They will see. Okay. As I'm talking to you now, even me, where they here now. A lot of Ghanaians, some of some of Ghanaians when they hear they, they fear. Make them no kill, make them no do them this thing. They rush answer Nigerian name, uh, collect uh, Nigerian passport. If you are sitting like this and they laugh. If you are sitting like this and they laugh, they get Nigeria passport, they get Ghana passport. Mostly when they are traveling out, they use Ghana passport most. But once they get among Nigerians, when they talk, they say, I'm in Nigeria, when they want to drag you, they say, they go bring Nigeria passport out. So that one, I they save them. You see the sense where they are using? Good. But me, I'm saying, but nothing can make me change my nationality. You can't fight me. Oh, yes, you can't fight me. If you come forward, hey, my brother, because now I notice that now the way Nigerians are doing it, they think that the Ghanaians are afraid of them. They're not afraid of them at all. So, yes, I'm talking to you. And anybody will make any claim, I'll face you. Even not talking even about bo uh, all those rich chess men, and they talk to them one on one. They tell them my mind, I don't fucking care who you are. That lady who is talking about Ghana girls, make the careful, is that Nigeria guys are killing Ghana girls for ritual. That's what the lady is talking about. They are killing Ghana girls for ritual. That's what the lady is talking about. If Ghana girls make their eyes open for Nigeria guys, no, they're not fighting for today. They are fighting for the youngest generation coming. That's the next generation coming. If you don't do that for now, it will come be worse. So you can see they say they are killing Ghana guests now in Nigeria now uh, in Ghana there now serious Nigeria guys. They are killing Ghana guests now because of ritual Yahoo guys. Is it good? They do that from Nigeria here. A lot of Ghanaians. They see Gugana there. See go they do the same thing. 
and the leaders are hearing all this and the police are hearing all this they keep quiet they are not going to do anything about it hmm? if somebody come then if someone come Ghana there now begin to take action then in Nigeria they see they begin to fire them one by one somebody will say that uh, person is going to get good character or why this is happening for so, 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 please hmm? Is it good like that? Tell me. See, there are some things we people used to have to understand in this life. Eh? Don't let your neighbor open eye and frustrate you. If you open eye frustrating you, you keep quiet. It's too over, keep quiet. It will look like that person will get overpower more than you. That's what I just are doing now. They see. That's why now, because I know they, they come easy with them here. That's what I'm talking to you. Okay? So if you look at it very well, what happened, actually happened, when Nigeria is with that? Which work does If you know that that place no they don't get work for there, come back to your country for find another place to go. Is it Nigeria is there for Ghana? So many African countries there for Ghana there. Have you ever heard anyone that they say this one is doing this? No one. Only Nigeria. Tomorrow, only Nigeria. Next tomorrow, only Nigeria. For waiting now. For what? For what? Guy, let me tell you something. Eh? From now to next month end, if leaders don't do something about it, what we hear on news, what is going to happen there in Ghana? There, leaders are going to dread themselves. Oh. They're going to dread themselves. Yes, because. I'm going to this lady matter this matter we talk now. I'm going to call my uh, nephew. I'm going to call my brother, my sister, my nephew, my auntie, all of them. I'm going to call them, find out how their children, how their daughters be, how all of them be, how all of them they have. If all of them they fine, fine. If anyone touch any of my person, my person, my brother. You don't know who do that to oh. it will be a different problem for Ghana there for Nigerians. Ninety-nine percent of them, I bet you, I know them from Nigeria here before they left to Ghana. And I know person will know all of them their houses. My brother, my different thing will be oh. I'm not gonna look at your face. Thing will go happen there, in a different thing will be. Why person will just do you no know, think, you no know, think to do to, to find work to do. You don't want to do salary work. You don't want to have to wait. You want quick money to buy Benz, to buy this. See that Ghana get away they kill for Ghana there. It is a they drive the Benz just like that. They say to give you an iPhone now. This thing. See how they, they take kill them, Yahoo yeah, guys. See what how see how they, they take kill them. They brand your face. You don't want to make they see your face. They kill them. Those guys also they don't show their face, but see how see how they take kill that, that guy. Now parents now they are looking for that girl all around. They don't see her. Where they will see her for? And they see me for that Ghana. They see that. They see you do another one. Oh, my brother. Ah. Oh. Kai, 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 kai. I wish I get my leave quick, quick. I swear, God Almighty, I wish I get my leave quickly to be there. But God will make it. God will make it. I'll get there. Let's see. How this is going to be. As that man is talking, that nigga needs make you get patient, make you do this. Too much of patience we have. That's an Nigerian, so I'm almost overthrow to take to take over Ghana. Too much of patience. We don't want to do anything, make a, uh, our neighbor, make a Nigerian come, they think that this that's why they are doing all those nonsense. They think that we, we are we are checking for them. They are doing us anyhow. Putting us to trouble anyhow, killing us, killing our sister, killing our children anyhow. God cannot let him be. Nonsense. What kind of rubbish is that? Make you get patient for what? You did somewhere, whatever you are doing. If you have a nephew or whatever, then talk to them to stop that nonsense here in uh, those who are from Nigeria here, they come to Ghana. They tell them to stop that nonsense. You have a relative, a relative with Nigerians. That's why you are talking like that. 
you are not full Ghanaian. You are 50 50. Maybe your mother from Ghana. That's why you are talking that trash from your mouth. Making a gay patient. Make Ghanaian gay patient. Gay, gay patients for what? Nigeria is a gay patient. Make I leave this one first. Yeah. Like I was saying, that uh, 220 million population. Even me as I'm here, they even can't me join. So many foreigners, they can't them join. Like you are going to, for example, like you need some document or you need something to do. If you say that uh, you are not a Nigerian, the guys you bring all your documents before they can give it to you, or they can say oh, you have to pay five thousand naira or ten thousand naira. Okay, it happen. If it happened to me myself also as well. Yes. This NIN where this guy just used take care that transport come to Ghana. I go there to collect NIN. My name. I said I'm not a Nigerian I'm a Ghanaian. They tell me to they tell me to say that because I'm a Nigerian. They can't major. It's happening very well. Well, 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 well here in Nigeria. So people are talking about the population, they, 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 they do that. The population don't reach that population they are talking about. Okay? We foreigners, they can't just join them. They are saying that the people will not be this, they don't remove them. They don't remove them. Even I have number, I have my own number. We are hold for hand. That's a Nigerian number. If you measure a foreigner, you will shock. I have my own number. Because they can't me join Nigeria. I'm not a Nigerian. Why did they come to me? Join? My brother, beg. Let's leave it for here. All my, all my point is that play this video for that uh, that stupid guy with the, the cover nose mask, saying that uh, <coughs> unity of Ghana, uh, Nigeria, so whatever. We, we, we was talk, talk, talking about. See the way both people will take attack Ghana, will take attack Africa, South Africa. It does nothing concern him. Now, now Nigeria, the open eye know that uh, they want unity for Africa. So they say you both, so they say that they get sense. They get sense now, let them fight their own fight also. Like the way Nigeria, British can't carry Nigerians from here, can't fight Ghanaians. For, my, for their own black to black, we both can't carry you from your own country. So can't fight your, for your neighboring country. When I follow them, come. Come fight. Now, sense be that. I says with that God, I believe that we are too big. If your mother, or if your mother born woman, or if your parent born woman, where the senior they small, the junior big, but the junior big by no get sense. Small one where uh, we get sense, we be junior, we be senior. That one gets sense. You senior go to call your senior, you, your junior, you junior go to call your senior that uh, is your junior brother. Okay, you big, but you no get sense. That one, uh, sense be that one. I mean, a uh, wiseness be that one. Upon Nigeria, big like this, I never see. If you talk about money, yes, they want to make money quick. The matter energy, they want to make money quick. for ritual will. What, this, if I measure this my name now, they will know that in the midday or night they talk. In case of they play the, in case of they, they watch the video. <clears throat> he does a follow up with uh, one Ghana guy, we will be their cook. For Nigeria here. Not be anywhere except for this Ikoi here. The man say, why this guy, why the way they see here they, they, this guy, make you no go for uh, make, make you back off from this guy. Why this guy not cook for them? Why they rob me? The guy said, don't have anything to do, but they have to, you have to show love that you are all the same. Papa no grill. And this girl loved this Ghana guy, like tomorrow, no day. Before you know it, this man killed this Ghana guy, come out in heart, throw up for inside this lagoon. <clears throat> he killed this Ghana guy with a cook. He killed him, come out, remove in liver, in heart. He moved the heart, throw away this guy for inside lago. Up to now, the girl won't go report for Ghana for Ghana High Commission. 
they get one good report about do everything could they find this guy who you know, you can't see him for inside this low school water side of what uh, this thing here show you how bad we can and you just there after that one make i say that make i i trust nigeria make I come in nigeria even if you are no even if you are good nigeria in your mind my mind i don't do your mind i don't know what is your mind so it would be difficult for me to say that maybe you can say that uh, I'm helping any, any Nigerian man for something. No, 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 no. It can't be possible. It can't be possible. We can leave this one first. That's how we talk. Bye bye. Hello, Mr. Manager Naja. Good evening. I'm watching your video that I think you did this evening. And I'm hearing my Ghanaian brother saying Nigerians are eating shit. Uh, some of them, some of them are animals eating human meat. Bra 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 bra. And he's saying Ghanaians are superior. Has are super, superior than. Nigerians, I would like to ask him what defines superiority, what measurement he used to define superiority. There is no superior person in this health. It is mindset. At the moment, I will think I'm superior than you. It means I'm competing with you. And automatically, I will become a failure, a loser. And he is saying he's happy to be a Ghanaian. And we see we Ghanaians as seeing Nigerians like animals. I can tell you my, this brother is lying. He should talk about him for himself. He shouldn't talk about any Ghanaian. Please. He is talking about himself, not for any Ghanaians. So he shouldn't put all Ghanaians. Thank you. Mr. Manager, good evening. Uh, I will answer the guy. Good evening. I hope you are okay. God bless you. And I hope you are in good health as you are working. I'm just going to answer the Ghanaian who said Ghanaian should stop saying that they should go to their home. I think, with all due respect, I hope he's a Ghanaian. I'm, I, I don't think he's not a Ghanaian. But I think you should have a vision. You should have a vision that you know, if Nigerians who are not properly staying in Ghana, killing people for rituals, that like we see in this woman saying Ghanaians should be kept, uh, should take action or about Nigerians before, before you do it. If that guy doesn't know, have a vision about what Nigerians are going to do, already you should know what Nigerians have been doing. Criminal activities, killing for rituals, armed robbery, disrespecting Ghanaians, insulting Ghanaians, when you put all these things together, if that guy doesn't understand that the only thing that has to come out of them, come out of the mouth of Ghanaians, is for them to go home. Then I don't know that what that that kind of person is. Being, so, I'm also in somebody's country. Everybody is in somebody's country, but we don't go there and kill people for rituals. Ghanaians in other people's uh, countries, they don't go there to do armed robberies. Ghanaians are in that people's countries. They don't go and do armed robberies. They don't go and do, uh, um, what is it, highway robberies. They don't go and insult them. They don't go and tell them that they are inferior. So what is that, this guy talking about? I think he has to be, if he hasn't got anything to say, he should keep quiet. So is he saying that we should say, what the Nigerian, upon all the killings, all the dangerous things the Nigerians are doing, even all over the world, everybody is saying Nigerians should get out. He is saying that Ghanaians shouldn't say anything. So if we don't say they should go back to their country, because there are many illegals, people who are illegals in Ghana, Nigerians, more than those who are legals. 
those who are staying properly are very less 20 percent 20 out of 100 so i don't know what this guy is talking about as i'm saying i know he might be a Ghanaian, but i think he has to get a vision he has to get a vision they shouldn't go to this uh, so they should stay in ghana and be killing people they should stay in ghana and be doing armed robberies they should stay in ghana and be killing children for rituals they should stay in ghana where the Ghanaians can sleep in our rooms so this thing should continue until the end of the world so is he making sense of himself look my brothers Ghanaians, if you don't have anything to say you just better keep quiet because sometimes when you come and talk things like so everybody will know that you don't have you don't you don't have vision or maybe you think very little you see what i mean it means that you are not mature you, you, are, you are not a sensible person the people are killing human beings Ghanaians are now in fire in our own country and they're quite they they call us that we have a history of being a peaceful country and if you can't sleep in your room because of foreigners if foreigners are killing people for rituals what why do you keep quiet we should keep quiet and let them do it and we should tell them that they should stay in the country look 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 i don't know i don't know what kind of sense people some people have or education of people i don't know what to say because uh, it's not a matter for education the people are killing people for him uh, for rituals they are doing armed robberies they are ch even teaching the children the youth to also engage in these evil behaviors and they are disrespecting you telling you that you're inferior telling you what is ghana come on guys and you say oh don't say they should go to your country so we should you should say what I hope this guy will get a message and be mature because look, he shouldn't let us turn our, our anger to, towards him. Because it's, what is he talking about? People are committing evil crimes in the country. So we should keep quiet because you are in somebody's country. If you are there, you are killing people. If you are in somebody's country and doing armed robberies, if you are there and doing money rituals, if you are there, you are insulting the country, the people of that country, if you are there and belittling them, then you have to deal with them. If they are not dealing with you, don't come and tell any Ghanaian that we shouldn't talk about the evil activities Nigerians are doing. I'm in the UK. I'm not killing people for rituals. I'm in the UK. I'm not doing armed robberies. I'm in the UK. I'm not killing children for money rituals. I'm in the UK. I'm not insulting them. I'm in the UK. I cannot say they are they are inferior to me. I cannot belittle them. So can't you see the difference? So we shouldn't say they should go to your country. Say they should do what? The 250 million people should come and stay in Ghana and be killing Ghanaians. Are you making sense? Are you serious? Are you making sense of yourself? I hope you learn sense. Simple. If you don't have anything to say about what is going on, just keep quiet. You see, there, there are some people who don't think far. There are some people who don't even have brains. They don't think. They are just like the Nigerians. Perhaps some of these Ghanaians that work with the Nigerians with their evil crimes. Look, look at what is happening in South Africa. Just today, as I'm speaking now, there has been a video this afternoon that I saw. A woman from, it's not from South Africa. She's even in, living in uh, Kenya. Doing a video. Very nice woman. Uh, uh, a Kenya, I think it's a Zulu woman who lives in, married in Kenya. And that's not when you, when you see the video. You see that the woman is not thinking any. I mean, it's a very nice, uh, nice looking, innocent woman who doesn't any, have any reason to, to hate Nigerians. But the title of the video, Mr. Manager, I'll send it to you here, is... He now understands why South Africa doesn't like Nigerians. How can you go to somebody's country and be killing people for rituals? Why don't you do it in your own country? Huh? How can you go to somebody's country and be doing armed robbery and be killing people there? Why don't you do it in your own country? And you go to your country and they start insulting them, saying stupid and nonsense, and come and calling them that they are inferior to you. And you are telling me that we, should, we nobody should say anything. We should be patient and tell them that they should continue doing it. Are you a human being? Go and join them. Huh? So if you stay in somebody's country and nonsense is going on, you don't have the sense to know that what you are doing in somebody's country is not the same thing as Nigerians are, most of Nigerians are doing in Ghana. Don't you have that sense? Or we should teach you sense. If you don't have anything, just keep quiet and stop talking nonsense. What Nigerians are doing in the whole world, who doesn't know it? South Africa, Uganda, Kenya, uh, which country in Africa, you mean the whole world? And people are saying, you are telling them not to say it. They should be patient and let the Nigerians start it and be killing people. So Ghana should be on fire because you are in collaboration with them. You like them. You do the same thing as they are doing. So they have taught you. So you follow them. Does that make sense of you? A simple answer is that anybody who is against, we are here innocent people. We are in our own country. Three evil things, killings, rituals, armed robberies, rituals, armed robberies, insulting Ghanaians. More than that. Where's this? And you are saying we shouldn't talk about it? And you are telling me Samania is not being fair to them? We know that there are some Ghanaians who work with the Nigerians. 
and that currently as i'm talking all those are the people we've been working with we know that so don't come to the studio and say we are not being fair to, nobody's being fair to them what are the nigerian doing in the Ghana? you don't have sense you don't hear you don't have ears to hear we don't have sense to think about it so they should be killing people every day what does it mean i don't know this guy where he's, he's coming from huh since when nigeria since when did nigerian start killing people committing crimes against humanity killing human beings how many people tell me that nigerians have been killing the armed robberies teaching the children uh, the, the, the youth how to do all these evil crimes where is the peace you don't tell me you have to tell that uh, Ghanaians should be paid. Don't go to anybody. You are in somebody's country. You are doing evil things. That's why you think Nigerians should also do the same thing in Ghana. I'm not here in England here doing any evil things. No, let alone even, I, I, don't, I can't even insult them. What am I insulting somebody for? I, I, I can't uh, tell anything. I can't just insult them because, wow, wow. Let alone even committing crimes, killing human beings, using somebody for ritual, going for armed robbery. So you are saying that. The Nigerians in Ghana, and you you are calling yourself you outside Ghana, and Ghanaians who are outside Ghana have trouble. Are you comparing comparing us to comparing us to what the Ghanaian, Nigerians are doing in Ghana? Yeah, you have a problem. See, because of all these empty-headed people who don't think at all, this useless kind of people. That's why Nigerians are doing what they are doing. You can't even ask yourself the question: How many people even put Ghanaians aside? How many people in the whole world? Who can go to Nigeria and do what Nigerians are doing in Ghana? And since they don't have they been doing it, the Ghanaians are not chasing them up in the, the way that South Africans did chase them, and now they don't go there again. South Africa will have their peace. And so we shouldn't even say it. And we, have, we are not chasing them, we are not killing them. And since what have they been doing it? And this guy wants to say that he doesn't know. And he's blaming the Ghanaians. This guy is a fool, big fool, he's a thief, he's a criminal. This guy, he doesn't think very useless person to hear on this uh, on this program. What kind of nonsense is this? This people have been killing at least I, I, even before my attention came on them. They started about 2016 when they carried like this kidnapping of this Takrabi guest, then the Canadian uh, humanitarian uh, uh, guest they kidnapped and the killing of children. And even Avorians were telling that ah, Ghana, I don't, I, why are you too weak like this? And these people are killing all the time. And people are saying nobody is doing anything about it. Huh? And what we are saying is say, don't worry, be patient. And what a fool, what a useless person. Be patient. So we shouldn't say it at all. Once we are not chasing them, we are not killing them, we are not doing anything. We shouldn't say anything at all. We shouldn't say you should go to your country. So what, what should we say? Because you are also a criminal and you are in somebody's country. You are armed robber in somebody's country. You are doing criminal things. So Ghanaians shouldn't say anything about the evil that Nigerians are doing in Ghana. What okay thank you everybody and uh, as you know i still have a lot of audio to play but that one will be continue another day god bless everybody i really appreciate you your time your data and everything god bless you god just bless you bye bye